Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the North Carolina A&T Aggies and the Siena Saints. And as we get set to tip off, let's take a look at two of the players we'll be following tonight. And of course, Bill, our starting five. Matchup in the guard position is really intriguing. Two skilled players who usually get the job done for the respective teams. And just before things get underway, let's look at what each of these teams is going to be paying extra attention to. And after all that anticipation, we're underway. Carey handles the pass. He shoots from outside. Can't connect from the three-point line. Banks receives the ball. The Aggies set up for a round one. That's tough because guys can make shots and yet they can penetrate and kick. Dump it inside. Both teams looking to get in a, a bit of a rhythm here. The shot clock shows 10. Shots up. No. Makes them so competitive on the glass. On the wing. Careless mistake there. Coleman receives the pass. Left side. Yep, slide. Jump shot. He missed it. What a rebound. I own it. Out on the wing. Up left. Ah, he got it up and in. The great backdoor play. Just a terrific look to the cutter. Going strong to the tin for the easy finish. Watch the screen. Coleman handles the feed. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Rafter. They work it into a double team in the post. Inside. Top of the key. In the lane. Coach, these guys are really struggling here tonight. Having a tough time finding the goal. Not a great performance here tonight, Gus. On the outside. Dials up a long-range shot. Oh! Harry, 4-3. In the post. Fires. The Aggies cannot get anything to drop for them. Well, they've lost their legs on all their shots. They need some better trips down the floor. Jump shot. Shots off. Pulls it in. Banks on the move. They work it around the perimeter. Terrific! Out on the left wing. Ten on the shot clock. 
on the left side. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy. On the outside. Fires. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jump shot. And he can't get the bounce. Pulls it down. On the wing. He takes the three. But he misses his target. They work it around the perimeter. Call for the foul. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Your first year playing college basketball has to be exciting. This caliber of basketball can be a big change for some players. Some make the jump without missing a step. But what I found are the ones that are successful are willing to listen and work hard. Got it from the free throw line. Pushes it. Is being trapped. They're going to call that a backboard violation. You've got to think. You've got to limit those moments. Way out on the right wing. He shoots from the corner. Shots off. What a rebound. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the corner. With no luck. What a rebound. shot from the corner how about this kid huh? on the outside Control knows where to be. Location, a high rent district. On the right side. Fires. Got it. This guy is really known as a power guy. You have to be able to put a body on him. Easier said than done. He's such a tough guard because he really bangs you and finishes strong down on the box. He unloads the three. Misses the tray. Out on the left wing. Here comes the pain. On the left side. He shoots from the corner. And no! Snatches the rebound. Out on the wing.
in the lane. Shots off. Way to get up, big fella. On the left side. Jump shot. How about that, Gus? On the outside. Shots off. Gets the board. On the wing. Loose ball batted in. Turnover. They'll go the other way. Coleman on the move. They work the perimeter. He fires it up. He can't get it to go. Great strength. Looking for a good shot. Fires. And he hits it. This guy is a complete player in the post. The big fella can face you up, play back to the basket. He's a good rebounder and solid on that defensive end. Feed the low post. He fires away. Shots off. Way out on the right wing. In the lane. Off the mark. High. Keeps it alive. Can fit. Turnover. They'll go the other way. Hines on the move. And he lays it up and in. On the right side. In the lane. And answers. That's how to keep the D on their toes. Take some threes and some baskets in the paint area. And then surprise them for the mid-range. Loose ball kept in. Looking for a good shot. No, takes the rebound. on the left wing. Call for the foul. Too aggressive on defense here, and he winds up with the foul. Well, you always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. <laughs> to the charity strike. Freebies important. Free throw is good. <laughs> Gotta make the freebies, Billy. One shot, Gus. You always want to limit the opposition to one opportunity. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He goes right past the trap. Right around the trap. That's a good job of attacking the defense. That's a great drive to the basket. With authority, Gus. Young in the post. Put a little English on it. Young, 4-2. On the outside. Jump shot. He missed it. Takes the board. On the left side. He puts up the tray. It's good. Out on the wing. Eight minutes left on the game clock. Up and in! Four, 
goes right through the trap. What a great job of beating their trap, Gus. On the right side. In the lane. The junior. Heat check time from long range. And misses. Looking for a good shot. Fires the senior. We are at the seven minute mark. Jump shot. And he can't get the bounce. Pulls it in. Shots off. Push it. Out on the right wing. In the lane. The soft move. On the wing. Foul on the play. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Here's another solid junior bill. Gus, you look at your juniors as third-year players who have been there. And as a coach, you can rely on them for their experience and ability to guide the less experienced players on the team. Misses. They've got him trapped now, Raph. They've got him in trouble, Gus. Six minutes left on the game clock. And lays it in. Number five, four, two. They've worked the perimeter. It's a call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. The Aggies are not the greatest free throw shooting team. Anything free, you just have to convert, Gus. Traps in place, Rap. In the paint. He can't get it to go. Oh, competitive Gus. They work it around the perimeter. Five minutes left on the game clock. On the left side. Fired. Off the mark. Give me that. Way out on the right wing. Get the top of the arc. No. What a rebound. It's fine. On the low block. Jump shot. And in. Down on the low block, trying to work it inside. He missed it. Pulls down the rebound. On the outside. 
Loose ball saves it. Great play. Cross court. We're at the four minute mark. Dump it inside. Fires. The Saints can't find the basket at all, coach. You know, they're really not taking advantage of their opportunities. No legs left, Gus. They work the perimeter. And he bangs it down. And he can't get the bounce. Now they work it around the perimeter. We're at the three minute mark in the paint. He can't get it to go. Pulls down the board. Out on the left wing. Turnover committed by the senior. Here they go in transition. Way out on the right wing. Look at that block! Terrific reaction! Low block. In the lane. Off the mark. Rips it down. On the left side. He shoots from the corner. It's almost like there's a lit on the basket. They're having a tough time with these rims. They can't get anything to drop. These guys have hit rock bottom. Their confidence at the moment couldn't be any lower. No. Big time presentation at the rim. He made himself bigger by extending his arms. Get it down on the low block. Jump shot. He missed it. Grabs the ball. On the outside. And it's blocked. On the left side. In the lane. Big time dagger. Around a minute remaining. On the right side. He shoots from the top of the key. They're having an extremely tough time from the field. They just can't buy a basket. They can't knock anything down. What a struggle. Almost Three. embarrassing. In the paint. And he can't get the bounce. Snatches it down. Looking for a good shot. And the block. He manages to keep it in. Ball's going to stay down here. Raf, so far it's been a demonstration of teamwork. When everybody wants to win, everybody will do what it takes to win. That's what we're seeing, Gus. Five guys making the moves they need to get the victory. Inbounds play on the baseline. Receives the pass in the paint. Fire! One half is in the book. Stay tuned for CBS at the half. And a 
quick look at the team's stats for both teams. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identified at the outset. Looks like they're going to play a little... Wait a minute. Lobs it inside. Shots off. In and out. Offensive rebound. He can't get it to go. On the right side. Off the mark. See the floor. You can get some easy fast breaks. On the outside. Jump shot. The sophomore. on the left wing. And that one is blocked. On the right side. Position for the ball screen now. No, it's mine. on the backdoor cut. Get out of my way! On the left side. Shots up. No luck from downtown. On the right side. Fires. He missed it. Nice rebound. Out on the wing. Dials up a long range shot. Not this time. They would like to get it inside to the low block. Call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. At the line. Rims off. Trap initiated by the defense. On the right side. From the baseline. And yet another missed field goal attempt, Coach. They're struggling. I don't think any of them are concentrating right now. Low block. Jump shot. The junior. On the right side. Fire. The Saints are having a tough time hitting from the floor. Court. They can't find one, Gus. 
on the wing. Shots off. Look for the outlet. Now they work it around the perimeter. He strokes it. The Saints can't get anything to fall. I'll tell you guys, when a team is shooting the ball this poorly, they must get the ball back on defense, create some turnovers, and get some runouts. Out on the wing. In the lane. And he can't get the bounce. Takes the board. Out on the right wing. He tries the three. That's how to stretch the defense, Cus. If you can make those, offensively your team becomes really difficult to guard. In the post. Shots off. He owns the window. Out on the left wing. Shots off. Grabs the rebound. They work it around the perimeter. He can't get it to go. Rips down the board. And the ball is out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. The Aggies have come out here and are really focused on moving the ball and playing pretty together. When you have guys that want to win, you're going to get different players stepping up at different times and in different ways. And that's always great to watch, especially as a coach. He fires it up. The Aggies are having an unbelievably tough time from the field. They're not concentrating, Gus. They've got to lock down on the rim and shoot the ball with confidence. Perfect. Shots off. They've got to fill the lanes now. Get out and fill, please. They work the perimeter. Shots off. Transition. On the right side. In the lane. And another missed field goal. They're settling for jumpers. They got to find a way to score. Get to the rim. Get to the free throw line. Look at the coach. He's beside himself. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jump shot. Count it. the low post in the lane off the mark no give it here on the left side Dump it inside. He missed it. What a coach will be happy with that effort.
They work the perimeter. This is what I call home court advantage. The crowd is on their feet. Tough place to play. Out on the wing. And we have a change of possession here. How about a second time? Check out this layup. How about the concentration at the tin? The spike being banged in the paint. Looking for the bomb. Comes up empty from deep. Pulls down the rebound. The Aggies running their zone offense. Very effective because of the power on the glass. It opens up that opportunity for tips. They work it around the perimeter. And we're going the other way. Why don't we check in on tonight's key performers, Coach? There are a lot of things that don't always show up in the stat sheet, Gus. These guys could have a horrible game up to this point, so long as they step up and make the big play when called upon. Way out on the right wing. Turns it over. Now looking to attack. The Saints and now getting set up for a round one. They don't help out. They just <laughs> kill you. He's too aggressive on defense. And he winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in. You get in trouble. Seniors are important, Gus, because they bring so much to the table in terms of experience, accountability, and consistency. As a coach, you know, like to have guys like that on the roster who you can depend on. He makes it. Gets two at the charity strike. On the outside. Turnover. He'll want that one back. Pushing in transition. Foul on the play. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just got to know when to back off. Hit and miss from the strike. You know, Gus, it's a confidence thing with this kid. He has to put in more time. Both free throws go. And we'll get a change of possession. The deep ball has been dropping for them. Boy, they're doing the little things right, Gus. It's leading to quality looks when they get a chance to shoot. They're moving the ball, passing to the open guy, and shooting in rhythm. What a recipe for three. Nylon! Ball handler may be in a bit of trouble, Raph. He gets the rejection. On the right side. In the lane. And it's... Young man showing off his mid-range game. In the post. Jump shot. And he can't get the bounce. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the medium range jump shot. He can't get it to go. Get out and fill. 
on the left side. Heat check time from long range. He nails the long range bomb. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fires off the mark. Rebound and run. Out on the left wing. Down the lane. Finger roll. So easy for you. They work the perimeter. No. They should look to push it now. A little woo-woo, Gus. Out on the right wing. From the corner. How about this kid? Huh? Around eight minutes remaining on the game clock. Looking for a good shot. In the lane. There must be a lid on that goal, Bill. Nothing is falling for it. You gotta shoot it with confidence, and they're not. They're just throwing it up there and hoping for the best. They need some better looks. Dump it inside. He attempts the trifecta. Can't connect from the three-point line. On the wing. He goes for three. Uh, he got it. Jump shot. He missed it. Get out and fill. We are at the seven minute mark. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the corner, but he misses his target. On the left side. Can't escape the pressure. The young guy has some trouble with that trap. Turnover. They'll go the other way. Out on the left wing. Change of possession. Let's take a second look at this three-pointer. How about that? The defense relaxed and is able to convert deep. side oh physicality six minutes left on the game clock now they work it around the perimeter it's a call for the foul Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Coach, when a team shoots this well from the line, playing aggressive defense can come back to punt. When a team shoots a high percentage from the line, it makes them that much harder to defend.
may have him right where they want him, Raph. They work the perimeter. Can't escape the pressure. Trying to beat it, but he couldn't, Gus. Fires. He can't get the hoop to fall. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jump shot. He gets the shot to fall. Well, Raph, this could go down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Gus. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. Gus, you've got to love these tight ones. So much on the line here. One wrong move is all it takes. There's no room for error. Carpent handles the pass. In the lane. And he misses the shot. Carey on the left side. Four minutes left on the game clock. Moss gets the ball. In the lane. It won't fall. Picker handles the pass. And will head back down to the other end. Moss receives the ball. Fires off the mark with the shot. It's a call for the foul. Too aggressive on defense here, and he winds up with the foul. Well, you always get your hand reaching in, you get in trouble. At the free throw line opportunity. Solid shooter. Not today. No doubt about it. Raph, they've got him right where they want him. He can't get around the trap. What a great job of containing the ball handler there, Gus. They keep him under wraps. Tried to beat it, but he couldn't, Gus. Young receives the pass. That goes out of bounds. What can stay at this end? Baseline inbound. The Saints set up into their zone motion offense. And this is difficult because they understand how to take advantage of mismatches. Foul on the play. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just got to know when to back off. Well, Bill, this young man's now in his second season of eligibility. Because he's young, but he's been through his freshman year, and he's learned a lot. This is going to be another big season for him. Let's see how he does today. Sinks it. That trap could spell trouble. We're at the three-minute mark. Moss handles the feed. Ball handler may be in a bit of trouble, Raph. Steals the ball. Harris receives the ball. How about that elevation? The Aggies motion for around one. Understanding what type of shot you want is essential in this offense. Low block. Jump shot. And he can't get the bounce. Oh, what a good rebound there, Gus. You got to secure those ones. The more rebounds you get, obviously, the better. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the corner with no luck. I own it. Coleman handles the feed.
be a swatted away. Picker receives the ball. He shoots from the corner. He can't get the bucket to fall. Coleman handles the pass. Fires. He gets it to fall. Carey receives the pass. He shoots from the corner. And he can't hit the shot. On the right side. One minute left on the game clock. In the lane. He nails the bucket. Carey receives the ball. Jump shot. He gets that one to fall. And we're ready. And we're back. Gus Johnson along with Bill Raftery with you here. Ready to inbound after the timeout. On the outside. He fires from long range. Outside Jay won't go. It's all about shot selection, Gus. It's so important to take good shots. And not necessarily the shot the defense wants you to take. Shoot it. The Aggies are a poor free throw shooting team, Coach. Boy, that is a bad characteristic to have. Makes it. A little clock management now, Gus. They have to foul in order to stop the clock. Thus, I think they'll keep fouling until they're back into this game. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Now they'll line him up. Foul shot, no good. And we're back ready to get things going again after the timeout. On the right side. Let's it go! 
Can't get it to go. And yet another stoppage, and yet another foul. And why not? Substitution, Vienna. Opportunity here to put some points up, Gus, with the clock stopping. Pushes it. Welcome back, and we're set to inbound after the timeout. Dump it inside. With the big shot. Can't put it down. And here's a look at our players of the game. Ah, some great performances here, Gus. These two were special and really stood out. That does it for us here today. Until next time, for Coach Raftery, I'm Gus Johnson. Thanks for watching College Basketball here on CBS Sports.